This is an interesting National Geographic mag that generally turns up in the thrift shops <coughs> where I live. It's National Geographic mag for June 2002. And what it is, it's got this untold stories of D-Day. But inside, it has, starting about there, untold stories of D-Day. But the fascinating thing about it is, as you work your way through it, it's got photographs in, into the graveyard of the D-Day Armada. And there's a Sherman tank. That's a boat. That's a US Navy torch with the guy's name on it, under the sea. Another Sherman tank upside down. Another Sherman tank, barrel. Remains of Mulberry Harbour. And as you as you work your way through, you get various stories. And hey presto, you get this really impressive fold out double spread map. Look at the size of that. What it is, the lost fleet of Operation Neptune. It shows all the invasion beaches, Sword, Juno, Omaha, Utah, Gold, and it pinpoints every single piece of wreckage known off the D-Day beaches. They're all colour coded for cargo ship, destroyers, landing ships, minesweeper, troop ship, um, Barge, landing craft, pontoon, tank. So off the D-Day beaches, there's one, two, three, only three, four tanks in the sea off the D-Day beaches. There's one off, off, off Sword Beach, there's one off Omaha Beach, and there's two just to the left of Utah Beach. And this was a survey that was taken in, where are we at? Allied, Allied invasion wrecks June 1944 to December 45, remaining as of March 2002. So that's the most up to date survey of what's under the sea, just off the D-Day beaches. So it's, in, it's invaluable to the, to the D-Day historian. It's got a putty history of some of the ships as well. And as I say, it's it's quite an unexpected thing to find in the book. And you have various defences that made up the Atlantic Wall, what they had to go through before they actually got it off the beach. All in all, it's it's a very good thing. It's got a bit about living history and reenactment. And it is quite an interesting thing. And it's only it only goes for about twenty pages, but it's well worth having. National Geographic magazine, June 2002. They cost literally uh, pennies in the thrift shop. So it's well worth keeping an eye out for because that double page map.